guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Gina and I had VSG surgery on April 25th of 2022. Uh, today marks my eight week post-op video. So I'm back to recording on my phone because it's been a crazy week. Uh, my dog got a surgery yesterday, so I'm dealing with a really sad puppy down here. So uh, I'll be back to the better camera next time. I just, time is of the essence right now. So I'm getting it done uh, while I have a couple minutes. Um, so my weigh-in from this past week, I weighed in uh, yesterday at 273.2, which is awesome. So I'm down 2.2 pounds from last week, uh, the week that I barely lost anything. And then I'm also down another three inches overall. It was like a half inch basically everywhere, um, which I was really excited about because uh, I kind of feel a little bit smaller now. Um, not like in the mirror, like I can't see it, Obviously, I can see it when I look at pictures of myself, but more like I feel a little bit like in my waist, kind of, maybe a little bit smaller. So I know that it's getting smaller, obviously, from measuring. Um, so this week also marked my first full week on just a normal, plain old diet. Um, I didn't really stray too far off what I was eating before, just because I know that that has worked in the past. So I kind of stuck with it a little, like soft things a little bit more. Um, but I did start adding in raw vegetables. So um, twice I had like a taco salad. So I did a little bit of shredded lettuce, some tomato, um, a little bit of onion, um, a couple days. And then it was Father's Day, so I had like um, some raw veggies and like some hummus. It's like a little snack. Um, and so far all the vegetables have sat well for me. Uh, I, I know some people, they don't sit well right away, but um, again, I've really had a good experience so far with keeping everything down. Um, so none of that has been an issue, didn't upset my stomach or, or anything like that. Um, also, it was Father's Day this past Sunday, so like I said, um, which is the first time I was actually like tempted with food that I could actually eat technically. So I had, um, we had like a spread of like some grapes and the veggies that I brought. And of course we had like chips and dip. Um, sorry about the dog crying noises. I can't, <laughs> I can't help him. Um, so I had a couple chips and then some, obviously some veggies and some grapes, but it wasn't like anything extraordinary. Like I literally think I had two little small potato chips and some dip um and i didn't overeat nothing like that and then about an hour and a half later we made sub sandwiches um so i brought my wasa crackers to build my sub on um and it was just basically the same thing i eat for lunch so just a piece of cheese and some lunch meat and some mustard and mayo um and yeah i didn't eat as much of that as i normally would probably because i ha i had the stuff like an hour and a half previously um, so then we went on a walk and then we came back and I had the rest of my my lunch um, so overall it was a good day towards the evening I did see some of my family that I haven't seen since January and I hadn't told them anything about surgery or anything and I wasn't I wasn't planning on it like if it came up it came up but I was sitting around my uncle was like you look different I was like oh about that so um, so I basically told them everything and it was all good and they were happy for me. So at least other people are starting to notice <laughs> it's, you know, what I'm doing is paying off clearly. So that was exciting. Um, what else happened? I feel like I finally got into a little bit of a routine, like time wise, what I'm eating and when I'm eating it. So I know first thing I have my shake, then around, um, 9 30 I usually have my breakfast um from there I'll try to at least get in 24 ounces or if not most of my like tumbler or whatever I'm drinking that day I try to fend off lunch until like 12 31 um I finish work by three I might have a little snack when I get off work and then I try not to have dinner until about 5 30 um and then usually I end my day with like a popsicle or something um and I've been getting all my protein. Water, again, is still the, the daily struggle. But I'm at least getting my minimum for sure. Um, but I just feel like I've settled into that, 
that kind of like pacing almost throughout the day. So I'm not like trying to get all my protein in at six o'clock at night. Like I definitely have it spaced out to where it feels more natural than it was before trying to get all that protein in. So that's good. Next Monday, I have my two month post-op appointment. Now, again, I don't think I'm going to hit their goal, which I think was 260, 265 or something like that. So I'm about seven pounds away, but I don't, clearly my track record, I'm not going to lose seven pounds in a week. So my goal for myself is to be in, be out of the 270s by the time I go next Monday. So um, yesterday I was 273.2, this morning I was 273 even. So I'm hoping to, by tomorrow I'll be uh, in the 272s. Um, and then from there, I'm pretty sure I can make it. I don't know if I'll hit it on their scale, just because I'm always a couple pounds heavier over there versus mine. But as long as I hit it on my scale, I know I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. So uh, the next update video, I'll wait to record until after that uh, check appointment to see what they tell me if I'm hitting everything or if they give me any more updates. I don't think I'll have anything new to add. Like I'm taking on my vitamins. Um, there's nothing to clear me for that I know of. So I don't know if it's just the meal stage that they're going to talk about that I'm already on. I don't, I'm not sure. So I will let you know about that. Um, and I wanted to just thank everyone for all the messages last week when I was feeling a little down and sorry for myself. Um, because I know the way it's going to come off. I'm just going to have those weeks sometimes where it's not ideal and I just have to get used to it. <laughs> so thank you for all the messages and also thank you for 300 subscribers, which is really fun. I think we hit that a couple days ago. So everyone wants more videos. I'm going to try my best and I'm going to try my best to get the volume right because I still cannot figure, <laughs> figure that out. Um, I think I have it narrowed down. So hopefully this video is better. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I like editing them. Again, if you have any suggestions for videos, feel free to leave them below. I'm going to continue my weekly updates. I think we'll go 12 weeks and then we'll see, um, we'll see if there's anything to update after that. Um, my plan was to do 12 weeks and then after that, just do monthly updates. Um, but I could do like every other week or whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure if there will be many, you know, minus my weight update, like if it'll be that interesting because it's just going to be the same old, same old. So we'll see about that. Other than weekly updates, my plan is to do like meal prep videos and, um, sure, be heavy. meal prep videos and like what I eat in a day videos. Cause those I like to like vlog throughout the day and I think they're interesting and I like to watch them. Uh, I also just posted a 10 like must-haves uh, for your first eight weeks of surgery. It's literally everything I've used these past eight weeks to help me. Um, so if you have any ideas like that that you want to see, like lists or recommendations, feel free to let me know and I'd be happy to work that in to the video rotation. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see how my next post-op uh, meeting goes. I might get blood work done. I remember someone saying something about blood work at two months, but... I could be making that up. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.